What is this? Like the 47th movie with the title Fear? I feel like they come out with a fear every couple of years. I feel like I should have 2023, Fear 2023 movie review in the title of this. I don't know if I will. We'll see. So fear is what happens when January has actually been really enjoyable in terms of entertainment. You have that walking on eggshells feeling. You're like, we're going to have to pay the piper hard for this shit, Evangela. That is this week. A week that looked pretty bone dry. I was like, what do I watch? Eeny, meeny, miny. Yeah, sure. That one. The January horror film that had no press screening where I live. The embargo lifted today. None of this looks good. So this is a low budget horror slash psychological thriller film about a group of friends that come to this crickety ass old hotel. Then this place is making them visualize their fear. They're coming increasingly paranoid. And then you see the concept, which could have been interesting before the end game bad CGI starts up. Now out the gate, I will say this movie does feel like straight to DVD. I say straight to DVD because this feels like a straight to DVD movie before Blu-rays were a thing, you know, 2003, 2004. The thing about this movie, it's the script, it's the screenwriting. It's the classic case of it feels like friends who were just sitting around, they thought of really interesting or cool things that could be in a horror movie. We've all done that with our friends because that's a really fun thing to do with your friends. But if you're going to execute it, if you're going to actually do it, you have to take these concepts and put them in a movie that works. Or you end up having what this movie is, which the horror movie things that are going down are actually cool in concept. But we're not looking at concept, we're looking at execution. The execution? Mm. Right down to how the characters are acting with each other, alone. <laughs> Just this dude, gets a drop of water on his head when he's sleeping. and he's like, I'm gonna go into the attic and figure this shit out. Or you can call the front desk. I mean, granted, probably wouldn't do you much good in this hotel, but at least show the audience you're trying. A film's job is to be a tour guide, to guide the audience with the characters so the audience can actually buy or believe that the characters are acting and reacting in the way they are in the film. Now this dude's just kicking open doors in the attic like, hey, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm probably gonna run across some really sketchy reading material and some pictures to show the audience what's happening. Almost like I'm in a movie. Right, it just comes across that way. There's this weird COVID side plot in the movie too, which to be fair to the film, it's never called COVID. It's just a variance, which again, on paper makes sense. Your film is about fear, paranoia. What can the audience relate to? And yeah, you're right. The audience will be able to watch this and be like, what the fuck do you think I want to be taken there for my escapism horror film? The audience knows about isolating social distancing and everything the characters in this movie were not doing. In this movie, T.I.'s character might have the not COVID variant. He's in his hotel room, his own hotel room, alone, in bed, doors closed. We know that as isolating, but all the characters in this movie were like, all right, he's isolated. Let's say we go get him and throw him into the basement so he can be isolated. Again, I know, scared group of people. The theme of the entire film is fear and fear makes people act irrationally. But I feel like in this case, they'd be like, yeah, that scares the shit out of me. But he's in his room for the time being, so let's just leave him there. Let's, I'm so afraid I'm not going to go near him. The whole virus for the sake of fear and paranoia thing, just it just felt awkward and out of place. Movie was much more interesting when it left that and then went on to focusing on other people's demons. Like that's where the movie thrived. I'm using thrived very loosely. It's when the movie was at its best. I'm using best loosely. It's when I saw the potential. And then yeah, at the end, there's this weird swirly bad CGI monster thing and it, it just, doesn't look good. Look, in the end, there were a couple of ways people got dispatched when you actually see the fear going down and what they see versus what's actually happening. That was actually pretty cool. Giving credit where credit's due, if you could have those moments in a script and in a film that worked, that complemented it, could have had ourselves a pretty badass time here. This is a film, actually, I haven't said this too often. I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. This is a movie I hope gets remade. There is something here in the concept, the horror element in here, it fell flat for me. The psychological thriller elements, I actually did like, again, in concept. I walked out of this movie knowing one thing, that I'm not gonna remember it in T minus one day. Yep, already forgot. All right, so fear. You know what? Any of them, any of the movies titled fear doesn't have to be this 2023 one. What do you think of fear? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.